we're asking Ricky Doolan to be brave enough to address this disagreement between himself and his fellow Hearts of Orca, the grifter Tommy Robinson. In Mr. Doolan's book, Uber Angel, David Lamme, Sadi Khan and Afua Hirsch are all British. That's all fine and well, but why is his fellow Hearts of Orca, Tommy Robinson, saying Sadi Khan is not British and this country is not his country? And why is he calling him an invader, essentially characterising him as on par with the migrant crossers trying to cross over from Calais into Dover? He's so loud and vocal about not wanting them in his country, as he keeps labelling it, his country, his capital. It's not your country or your capital. You're part of an invasion into our country, Sadiq. That's what you are, it's our country. What's going on here? Mr. Doolan, do you believe Mr. Sadiq Khan is British? And why is your colleague, your fellow Hearts of Orca, Mr. Robinson, saying he's not British? You need to rebuke him. Will Mr. Doolan be brave enough to rebuke Mr. Robinson, or will he continue with his platitudes and slogans, avoiding anything that could cause waves for him and his attempt to gain popularity amongst the right-wing movements? Um, slaughter, your animal welfare policy. Expand on that for me. Yes, this is this one I'm particularly um, excited about. And people who know me know how strongly I feel about animals. It's been something um, I've got a great compassion for animals. Um, yes, we have a, a large, comprehensive animal welfare policy. First and foremost on it is we want to ban halal and kosher slaughter in Britain. There's more. There's more for Mr. Doolan to answer. There's a matter of banning Ezra Levant's meat. Who dares to ban Ezra Levant's meat? Does Mr. Doolan agree with this idea of banning kosher meat? His colleague, his fellow Hearts of Orca, the grifter, and Marie Waters would like to ban kosher meat. First and foremost on it is we want to ban halal and kosher slaughter in Britain. Mr. Doolan, do you agree with banning kosher meat? Is that not British enough for you? Or for her? I believe Mr. Doolan will be in a state of unease, considering how no Zio Sivna organisation deigns to say anything which may get them into conflict with the community that Ezra Levant belongs to. So much for free speech, right? Lastly, to change tack, we're calling on Mr. Rice to expedite his response to the very serious allegations Mr. Goddard made about him. We would like a public statement on this at his earliest convenience. Likewise with Tracy Blackwell concerning the allegations of fraud levelled at her. We're asking both of you to put out public statements on this matter. Members of the DFLA and members of other organisations may well be extremely interested in your answers. I find it all ironic though, considering Mr. Rice and Miss Blackwell allowed people to be misdirected into believing the drink driving incident in Hayes was a deliberate act and a cover up. The irony is, they've been lumbered with allegations to deal with now.